The topic of this video is solving combined inequalities, sometimes referred to as three-part inequalities. Combined inequalities have three zones, a left, a middle, and a right. Whatever you do to one zone, you must do the same to the other two as well. If you multiply or divide all three zones by a negative value, you must reverse the sensor direction of both inequality symbols. Let's solve a problem. Negative 9 is less than 2x minus 1 is less than 1. The variable is in the middle between the two inequality symbols. So to solve this, we must get the variable in the middle alone. So the first step is to add 1. But if we add 1 in the middle, we must also add 1 to the right and left zones. This gives us negative 8 less than 2x less than 2. Next, get rid of the 2 which is multiplying by dividing. Divide by 2 in all three zones. Then we get negative 4 is less than x is less than 1. This is our final answer. Let's try another problem. Okay, as we can see, this problem contains fractions, and the first step of solving an inequality statement that contains fractions is to clear those fractions by multiplying by the least common denominator. So we need to find the least common denominator of 3, 5, and 10. Now it's my hope that you already know that the answer is 30, but in case it's been a while since you've seen finding a least common denominator or a least common multiple, Here's one way you can come up with that answer. Write the multiples of each value. 3, 6, 9, 12. You'll notice that I'm just adding 3 over and over and over and over again. Next, the multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, etc., etc., etc. Next, the multiples of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, etc., etc., etc. I'm looking for the smallest number that appears in all three columns. That would be 30. So my least common denominator is 30. And the first thing that I need to do for this problem is to multiply all three zones by 30. So this one third has to be multiplied by 30. This whole fraction has to be multiplied by 30. This 9 tenths has to be multiplied by 30. All right, now we can simplify each one of these fractions one at a time. Let's start with 30 times 1 third. Well, it's my hope that you can do that in your head. 30 times 1 third is the same thing as 30 divided by 3, which is 10. But well, let's show the fractions math anyway. 30 times 1 third is the same thing as 30 over 1 times 1 over 3. We notice that we have a 30 up top and a 3 down below, and 30 divided by 3 is 10, which I can write as 10 over 1. So this gives me 10 times 1, 10, over 1 times 1, 1, and 10 over 1 is 10. Okay, next, 30 times this fraction. Let's use the same approach. 30 is the same as 30 over 1. We have a 30 up top and a 5 down below. 30 divided by 5 is 6, which can be written as 6 over 1. So I have 6 times the x plus 1, all divided by 1. Notice that I have to put the x plus 1 in parentheses. If I don't, then only the x gets multiplied by the 6, which is not what I want. I want the whole numerator, the x plus 1, to be multiplied by the 6. Anything divided by 1 is itself, so in the middle I simply have 6 times the sum x plus 1 is less than. 
All right, this last one I'm gonna do in my head. 30 divided by 10 is three times nine is 27. Next, distribute. 10 less than or equal to six x plus six less than 27. Next, get rid of the plus six by subtracting in all three zones. Four is less than or equal to six x is less than 21. Next, divide by six in all three zones. So in the middle, we'll have simply x. On the outsides, we're going to have two fractions to reduce, 4 sixths. Well, the greatest common factor of 4 and 6 is 2, so take a 2 out of each one. 4 divided by 2 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 4 sixths reduces to 2 thirds. 21 over 6, the greatest number that divides evenly into both of those is 3, so divide a 3 from each number. 21 divided by 3 is 7, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we get our final answer. 2 thirds is less than or equal to x is less than 7 halves.